Nice t-shirt. I know. I'm trying to save some money. So, guess what we're doing today? We're in a repair facility, National Indoor RV Center. This is the third time for this same issue. National Indoor has been very, very nice, very accommodating, did a good job, pretty much fixed it every time. So, but something's being missed and I don't blame them. And they've been nice enough to weasel us in to this facility. This is actually a Jayco and an Integra facility. But I can see there's four travels and there's new Mars and those are all sorts of stuff in there. So it's not as if they don't know what they're doing. But here, I'll show you what the issue is. The issue is this slide doesn't come in evenly. And this stick out here and that stick out there that is about a normal bed. Sometimes it's even worse than that. But the corker is that when this thing's out and this edge is out, this edge here is one and a half inches further out than the back. Really? Yeah. So that when wow. it comes back in and it spanks in the back, it'll spank a little bit in the front, but it's kind of like spank, ooh. It doesn't kite, it can't spank an inch and a half difference. It only can spank about, well, it's only spanking about a half inch difference. So, well, that's on the bottom, that upper is yeah, really sticking out. Yeah, that's even worse. Yeah. So, but, but when this spanks, there's this little latch in here that grabs that and pinches things. So, that, fixing this will fix that. So, All right. uh, we'll be talking to them. And you know what? It's just part of the adventure. Once we figure out what the schedule is here, me and Sue will jump in and we'll figure out something to do. Who knows, maybe we'll go. Horseback riding. Yeah! So where are we then? Oh, we're in Phoenix. So maybe we'll, we don't know what we're gonna do. But look at, they're coming in! Feeling one after another. Oh, there's one. another one. Oh, goody, you know? Get in line. So what do you do when you bring your kitchen, your house, your toilet, your bedroom, your underwear, your stove, your microwave, everything in for service? Still got to eat. So we're going to Spinato's for pizza. Come on. OMG Marco. Pete? Yep. Mission accomplished? Yep. Excellent. Pizza was twice as big as the box when we got it, and now it's only this big. So we split a, a, a half and half pizza. Mark had the meat, meat lover or something <coughs> like that. <clears throat> I had an awesome spinach and feta cheese and tomato. Which one was the best, Mark? I have to admit, Sue's was better. Mine was great. No, mine was good. Hers was great. Mine was fantastic. All right, and mine was there great. You have Hers it. was fantastic. <laughs> and there you have so it. So are you going to walk by the car or should we go right here where, where the car is? <laughs> <laughs> Well, we got lucky. They were able to retime and reprogram our slide motors. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to have to learn how to do it. I have the instructions. It looks pretty straightforward. 
but I kind of wanted to have uh, National Indoor RV tell me that I needed to do that and had them do it and it fixed the problem and I'm thinking the problem is just going to crop up again someday because you can see that's one heck of a big slide hanging out there. But uh, this is where we're parked now and we're in their parking lot and it basically that's the repair facility in the distance and you can see it doesn't have any doors because it doesn't need it because the weather is just so perfect here so here we are we're going to spend the night here we'll go on the computer and find some place that's closer to Yuma so our four hour drive ends up only being maybe two hours We'll break it up a little bit. We've got to be there, I think, on uh, Saturday. So uh, that's it. Okay. So we're walking around the National Indoor RV grounds here. And uh, this is kind of like a little fake campground they have made out of concrete. You see, we have here the dog area, so we're going to have to get a dog. Uh, we've already been talking about that. <laughs> right. Uh, some cacti and little chairs for you to sit at. Picnic table area with uh, umbrellas. You can barbecue here if you want. It's covered up ahead. Of course, to watch the game here, but the real thing that we got is we got our Christmas present this year already from National Indoor because they were able to get us in, slide us in between all of the coaches that were here. This place is packed. They were able to retime my slide kind of showed me how to do it, gave me the confidence to do it next time I need it done. It uh, works as good as it's gonna work right now, which is pretty darn good. It was very quiet compared to how it has in the past. And they didn't charge us anything, so it's Merry Christmas from National Indoor, so we, we thank you. Yes! Merry Christmas, Mark. <laughs>